Millennium Prize Problems Solving one grants you a lot of money And today, I'm going to be looking into one of them What is it? It suggests that there is some pattern to how prime numbers are distributed The pattern is connected with the Riemann zeta function Math problem that exists since 1860 and to this day has been unsolved. No, I won't solve it, but I would like to look into it while practicing coding. I'll be working on computational prime number checking without using any algorithms. I will start with basic prime number searching code and then optimize it. Finally, we'll look at all the data and fancy graphics and learn as much along the way. And yes, I am using C Sharp. I know it's not the best for this, but I want to keep getting better in it. To begin with, I'll use the most basic method ever, brute forcing. I will divide the input by every number smaller than it. Very inefficient, but let's try it out. Here it is. We skip one, then we have a loop. We check can n be divided by i. And if it can't, then it's prime. Let's go test the function. First off, I'm running the test once. And it wasn't the best. And here is the average from 10 tests. Not bad. Now let's improve it. Let's start off with a change that should speed everything a bit. Reduce the length of the loop by half. Why? No divisor bigger than half a number can exist, so no point in checking. So let's code that. Here's the new code. We again skip one. Then we have our loop. This time the loop is halved. This doesn't mean the speed is going to be halved, but we'll see. Let's go test the function. Let's run the test again once. And we have a decent 14% improvement. For fun, here's the test with 1 million numbers. Time for more improving. Because reducing the loop size is so fun, I'll do that again. We run our checking loop for the square root of n, which is a lot less. Why? If n can be divided by a number larger than the square root of n, we would have already found that divisor. This is a well known optimization in prime number checking. Here's an example. Let's read the code. Here's the new code. We again skip one. Then we have our loop. This time the loop runs for the square root of n. This will speed things up a lot. Let's go test the function. Let's run the test again once. When we have an insane improvement of 50x. Here are the speeds with 1 million numbers. We are getting somewhere. Time for another small optimization. 
We are going to start from an odd number and each time go up by 2. Why? If n is even, it can be divided by 2, n is in prime. This will save a bit in the long term. Here's the new code. We don't check 1 or 2. Then we have our loop. We check division by 2. Then in the loop we add 2 instead of 1. Let's go test the function. Let's run the test again once. And again a nice 15% improvement. Let's get this below 50 milliseconds. To do that we are going to have to optimize even more. But at this point I have run out of ideas. So Wikipedia it is. I have found this nice article on Wikipedia on primality number checking. I'll try to implement something from here right now. After a bit of reading Wikipedia, I have chosen what to add. What is it? It may sound hard, but it's pretty simple. The 6k plus c minus 1 optimization is based on the fact that all primes bigger than 3 fit in this format. I also didn't get it, but after some Wikipedia, Stack Overflow and testing, I got it working. Here is the final code. Here is the new code. We don't check 1, 2 or 3. Small changes. And the loop with the optimization. Yeah, this took a bit, but I finally got there. Let's go test the function. Let's run the test again once. And I'm ok, 16% improvement. Now look at 100 million numbers. We have a 40% improvement. Now look at 1 billion numbers. We have a very big improvement. The bigger the numbers, the bigger the improvement. Well, we have gotten to a pretty good point. I've learned a good bit. And I feel like it's time for the final non-code changes. I've changed some settings on my computer and set the program to release mode for that extra boost. Here is how it runs. Like before, one test on half a million numbers. And a big improvement for the effort. We got to that 50 milliseconds. Save each and every prime, and then have fun with the data. Also, if you like the video, then subscribe because I promise there will be more quality videos soon. As you may see while waiting, I got a bit bored, but finally everything finished. That took a bit. 12 hours and 44 minutes. I have a massive file with all the data now. Out of 20,882,206,716 were primes. That is 4.41%. Now let's look at some graphics, which I first have to make.
Here I have our first graph which shows how many numbers were prime out of the 1 billion. At the beginning it was around 50 million and at the end it dropped by 8. After round test number 4, the number started steadily declining down to that 42 million. The changes were really small. Here we have our graph number 2, which shows the test times. At the beginning when we were going from 0 to 1 billion, the test took only 10 minutes. Then it strangely took 8, but after that it started slowly increasing. Here we have something not really important, but also worth knowing. We have the median of each billion checked. And it may look pretty straight, but if I overlay a line, then it's not that straight. Then we have our last graph, which shows how many numbers were prime after every test combined. It might also look pretty straight, but after I overlay a line, you can see it's got a slight curve at the start. And that's everything I have done. GitHub repo with all of the code is in the description. Thank you very much for watching. This video took a while to make. I finally did it. If this video goes well, I'll make a part 2 with more optimizations and let's say 250 billion numbers checked.